Hello and welcome to another Festival Pro tutorial video. Today we're going to have a look at volunteers or stewards or um, the unsung heroes that keep the festivals and events always rolling. To get the volunteers into the system we are going to have a form, dashboard forms and the volunteer application form. Now you can add volunteers manually um, or import them, same as you would for artists, contractors, vendors, um, you can do it that way. But we recommend you use the application form, put the URL on your website, or and even if it's people that have worked for you before and you know them, it's useful to get them to fill out this form, and you'll see why shortly. What we do under the volunteer application form, um, you can edit this as, as you need. Got a bit of information at the top. And then we ask them their name, who they are, what age they are, maybe you want to know their t-shirt size. You can delete anything that's not applicable to you though. This stuff at the bottom is really quite useful. Um, volunteer type, their availability. This is automatically set to your festival dates, um, but you can alter this field in config. It's the profile link field, volunteers and volunteers and volunteer availability. So if you need to change the date range on that, you can do that in config under the profile fields and volunteers and we ask these kind of questions because we can search by them later when we're starting to schedule our stewards and volunteers onto shifts um, and it becomes really useful at that point we're generating a ticket here for them on the deposit so we currently have it set to $50 and if they are going to come along they pay their deposit they get their ticket you can edit the cost of this in here cost options if you do not take a deposit you might want to just choose this as a as a checkbox and just say you know do you agree um, to these terms maybe put a put a ticket against that instead but that will just generate the, the the ticket for them it's worth noting that on settings if you're not charging a deposit or even if you are it's defaulted under um, on completion to not send emails and tickets because you don't necessarily really want to send a, a volunteer ticket to someone that you haven't accepted yet or someone that may not actually end up being a worker for you. So once they've filled in the application form they'll come into the registrations and in here we can view ev everything people have said, what's their age, what do they do? Why did they hear about us? Here's all the questions that we would have crafted on that form. You can see um, he's done a ticket. He's done a deposit here and it's uh, generated a ticket code for him. He will not have received this yet, but it's there on the back end for us to send out if uh, we do end up accepting him. To confirm a volunteer, you're going to click the monitor icon and click yes. You could just start putting them on shifts and stuff if um, you've already generated these, but we'll we'll do this another way. This is one way. The easiest way, though, is without doubt on the festival calendar. So once we've confirmed our volunteers, we can go into volunteers and view all confirmed. And here they are. We've got 36 confirmed volunteers. And now we need something for them to do. So to do this, we can go to volunteers and go down to the volunteer shifts. And here we've got a whole list of shifts that we've created. And we can click add another and just put in some more. We'll put in the name of the shift, time and date of the shift, when it ends, when it starts. Um, you can pick what type of role this job is, uh, where it's taking place and how many people you need. This is really useful if you're just adding a lot of shifts all at once. You can click add another and just keep keep going. Another way to create a shift is directly on the volunteer calendar. And here you get the week view. If we click into a day, we're going to see all of the roles across the top. Then we can put in a new shift by role. Maybe there's an access control role and we click the little plus button. And in here we can give the shift a name, a location, a duration. We can also flip this over by location. 
we can see all the shifts relating to the main stage here and we can add a new one on and this is going to be the same window the difference is here it's going to ask for a role rather than location so i'm going to add a new shift in and call this one hand out water and we're going to say this is going to be someone backstage handing out water we just need two people to do this and call this water for vips and we can add the shift in we can adjust the length of it and we can just start creating shifts as and how we like just like this and any shift that we create here is also then going to appear in our volunteer shifts list over on the other side so now we've got our volunteers in the system we confirmed the ones we want and we've uh, created some shifts for them the next thing is to add people to the shifts we do this on the volunteer calendar and here if we just go back to that shift that we created where we can see we need two people zero out of two here we can click the little plus button add more and now if we know the name of the person we can just type this in type in Marie and you can see there's these two Marie's here there's also this one here and we can see there's a conflict now that means that Marie is on another shift at this time doesn't necessarily mean we can't add her it will let you do this because perhaps you know that she is already backstage main stage and she can easily hand out some water as well but most of the time you're not going to necessarily know the name of the volunteers and you're just going to be searching to try and find out who you want to add to the shift and who's going to be relevant and that's where those questions we asked earlier on the application form come in handy and a good reason that all of your previous volunteers fill in the application form because you can get all this extra information from them we're going to see all these questions that we previously asked on our application form and we can actually search by this stuff find out all the people who are available maybe uh, Friday and Saturday that are first day trained for example and they're going to come up here and we can see here in the brackets this is the number of shifts they've already been assigned so we can see that we can give James and John an extra shift Anne's already got three perhaps we're not going to give her one Alana's only got two so this could be her third and final shift depending on what how you're set up for your event and once you've scheduled everybody you can go to volunteers and shift stats and in here we're going to be able to see at a glance how full or empty any of your shifts may be we can click on any of these shifts quickly to view the uh, individuals that are working that particular job here's the handout water shift with Alana Marie we added to and then the last step really is to make sure your volunteers all have a copy of their schedule um, and to do this we can go to our volunteers view all confirmed and we can go down here to bulk mail at the bottom and just use the schedule template now this is going to send them an email with all of their shifts on it with the live up to date link that's going to allow them to see any changes that might be made at last minute as long as they click this link they're going to get live up to date information and if you need to view what's going on on the day we can always go to our volunteer calendar and then maybe we want to filter this down and just view everything relating to backstage perhaps and here we've just got uh, a couple of backstage shifts perhaps catering just see those just stewarding and again we can flip this back by location put a similar filter on it we can view all of our stewarding shifts in different locations and then any of these we can run off in PDF format as well So I hope this video has been helpful in getting you started with volunteers and Festival Pro. We just had a look at how we can set up a form for your volunteer applications, take applications through from volunteers. You can come in and confirm the people you want to confirm, remove the people you don't, create your shifts either in the volunteer shifts or on the volunteer calendar, and then attach people to a shift 
either by searching their name directly or using the extra search fields to go through some form answers and then making sure that your shifts are completely full and emailing schedules out to your volunteers as well as being able to print out a copy of individual shifts in PDF format. Hopefully this video has been helpful and we shall see you soon. Shoot some